today we are going to make a sci-fi harbour in Unreal Engine. This scene is of course heavily inspired by the Mandalorian series. I really love that used gritty look of the locations, so to make things easier for me and you, I made a free kit bashing set containing buildings, antennas, platforms and all sorts of useful things. You'll find the link in the description below. Part 1 Setup For my sky I used a simple HDI backdrop. You can of course use the built-in cloud system, but I think a real sky is always going to look more realistic. To give the scene some depth, I use exponential height fog with the color I sampled from the sky. The directional light in my scene acts as the sunlight. Since the sky is very cloudy, I set the intensity to 1. The sky atmosphere actor makes sure everything works together at the end. Lastly, I added a post-process volume to disable the auto exposure. For the ocean, I used a blueprint called Ocean System for Rendered Cinematics. It's available on the Unreal Marketplace and worth every penny. It really affects the performance of your system, so don't use it for games. But for cinematics, it's really, really good. To get a better sense for scale, I always make sure to add a mannequin into my scene. This is especially useful if you use assets from multiple sources and some of them have the wrong scale. Part 2. Kit Bashing Now this is the real fun part. I started by duplicating the modular harbour pieces and added a few other landing platforms. To give the scene a bit more variety, I added some of the other landing platforms and submerged them into the ocean. Then I duplicated the meshes and changed the height to create different levels. The buildings that come with the pack don't look like your typical Star Wars buildings. They are much more generic, so they can be used in all sorts of environments. This one fits the tone quite well, so I added a few of them. Make sure to rotate each instance so it doesn't look repetitive. I added another building, a gate and finally some cranes. If you want to modify the cranes, you absolutely can because I included the individual parts of the mesh in a different folder. This way you can change the load or even animate the whole thing. I also included my antenna tower pack, which features quite a few very simple but good enough models. They might not look real up close, but are perfect to create more details in the background. Next I added antennas and evaporators. You can find these things in almost any Star Wars environment, which makes it super easy to instantly get that Star Wars look. I even included two assemblies that are connected via cables, which makes populating a scene quick and easy. The pack also comes with practical lights. From beacons and street lamps to interior lights, this folder contains over 20 different meshes. Especially the red and yellow lights designed for spaceships and other surfaces are a great and easy way to add more visual interest. Activate surface snapping and simply drag and drop the lights onto your mesh. Next I added containers. You can easily duplicate them all over your scene and change the mesh and material later to add variation. Also don't forget to rotate and scale them so they don't look too uniform. I added more boxes and decided to put these lines on them so you can actually see them. The silhouette of the scene was still way too clean and empty, so I added these poles with fishing nets on them. The cool thing about them is that you can use them in almost any environment, even the ones where they technically don't make any sense. After adding more street lights and adjusting the fog settings, I thought it would be nice to actually have a spaceship on one of those platforms. This 3D model of a cruiser is available for free on Sketchfab. I retextured it using Substance Painter and in no time my scene looked a lot more complete. To add a more personal touch, I used my custom decals of random alien text. Again, make sure that snapping is activated. Lastly, I want to show you the power of the different cable meshes that come with the asset pack. For regular power lines, there are three different meshes that you can easily duplicate all over your scene. Besides the antennas, fences and nets, this is another quick and easy way to add interesting details to the silhouette of your scene. Besides power lines, the pack also comes with cables that you can stick to any buildings, wall or antenna. Make sure to deactivate snapping and simply drag and drop the cable to your mesh. Rotate and scale it and you get a bunch of hanging cables. Now it was time to add a bit more depth and life to the scene. For this I used smoke and mist particles I found online. Of course you'll find the link to the assets down below. Scale them, rotate them and play around with the custom time dilation. To tone down the effect I reduce the opacity by opening the particle texture and reducing the max alpha value. I still wasn't happy with my scene so I added more greeples. I also like to color grade directly in Unreal so I get a sense of what my scene is actually going to look like in the final render. 
Finally, I added multiple point lights across my scene, which in my opinion really helped bringing it all together. I also duplicated the spaceship and added some lights to it. And that's my final scene. Again, if you want to download the free asset pack, you'll find the link in the description below. If you have any questions or you want to see more videos like this one, feel free to leave a comment. Until then, make sure you watch either this or this video next.